as a member of the United Nations. I declare today that Palau will become the world's first national shark sanctuary, ending all commercial shark fishing in our waters and giving a sanctuary for sharks to live and reproduce unmolested. The president's declaration came from the very heart of his nation. If you go to the Palawan Regional Meeting House for Men, you see sharks all over the place because sharks symbolize strength and power, like lion or eagle. We look at the sharks in the ocean as the king of the sea. And if you kill the king, you kill the kingdom. The shark's new kingdom stretches over more than 250 tropical islands, covering an area roughly the size of France. It's been four years since the declaration, and already Madison can see how sharks are thriving, along with the rest of the marine community. Palau has more life than the Great Barrier Reef and the Coral Sea. These are the schools of fish that I remember from my childhood on the Great Barrier Reef. Since it became a shark sanctuary, I have seen changes, which surprised even me. I noticed, first thing of all, that it's not just the big life that there seems to be an abundance of, but also the small life. And I think that's greatly attributed to the fact that sharks are protected. The good thing about the sharks here is that it's completely natural. They're actually just one of the key things in the ecosystem. And sometimes you don't even notice them because there's so much going on around them. Shark watching has become a key attraction for Palau's main source of income, tourism. But it was a risky move. Banning shark fishing could have compromised the lucrative tourist trade from Asia. Yet it's done the opposite, and their visitor numbers are increasing every year. In fact, it was the dive community that had the vision, uniting their voices in groups like the Micronesian Shark Foundation. We initiated the first socioeconomic study of the value of sharks. So one shark is worth close to 180,000 US dollars in one year, and over its lifetime, close to $2 million. That's one shark. We're talking about many, many sharks in Palau. Similar studies in the Bahamas and Maldives confirm these figures. In a single year, a living shark can earn a thousand times more dollars in tourism than a dead shark on the slab. It's a renewable income for generations to come. 